Hey, broadcasting just real quick here because I had a lot of people commenting and wanted to see exactly how I have my lighting set up. Forgot to do that. <laughs> so I uh, just want to add this in real quick so you can kind of see where everything was set. So as far as the light blaster, let me flip the camera here. Light blaster is just down here on a little stand and aimed back at the background. I have it at a little bit of an angle using those little geometric patterns. It's kind of cool to put them at a little bit of an angle anyway. I kind of like how it skews a little bit. But again, back of the, uh, back of the flash, we're at half power back here. Um, I'm shooting this at uh, uh, 5.6 ISO 400. Um, it's gonna, at 5.6, my, my model's gonna be nice and sharp. The background's gonna go a little soft, and that's okay. I don't mind that. You know, if you want to have a little bit more detail in your background, uh, you could shoot this at f11. You just have to make sure you're pumping enough light through your light blaster here with your flash in order to make that happen. As far as the lens, I've just got a fairly inexpensive Sigma 20 millimeter lens on here. Um, and again, the wider the better. Um, is the lens brand specific? Um, yeah, it is. You have to have a Canon mount or a Nikon mount when um, when you order your light blaster. So uh, whatever mount lens you're going to be using, make sure you get the light the right light blaster mount for that because it mounts right onto here. Um, so again, just on a little low stand here, going back to the background. As far as um, my lights, no, hey, no problem. Ask questions. I like that. As far as my lights, uh, 36 inch Octa. It's a Gomo Octa. Again, we've got this with a grid in it, so we're really trying to contain the spill. And I'm gonna back up a little bit so you can get an idea of the angle here, okay? So just a subtle angle, because I don't wanna really put a, lot, a strong angle on this, so I'm gonna throw in a lot of light back to the background, but I wanna have just a little bit of an angle coming down to where Aaron would have been standing right into here, okay? Um, I did have a double, uh, double strip box, edge lights, just fairly subtle again. I just wanted to have a little bit of light coming in from the edge just to give a little highlight there and just a little separation from the background, nothing real strong. Um, but again, that's uh, that's our lighting setup, really simple. Up top here, my light is a Molite AD360. It's like a super speed light. It's, a, it's the power of um, five speed lights all wrapped into one little uh, hot shoe kind of flash that's running down to a lithium ion battery pack. That thing will fire all day long and give you fast recycle. And then back here in my strip boxes, I just have Molite V850 uh, speed lights. Uh, that's all you need back there, and they work just fine driving through those uh, strip boxes. So uh, I made I may pop back in again because we're going to try something new. We're going to take that um, that light blaster projection system, and then we're actually going to back it up a little bit, and we're going to throw the patterns onto uh, Aaron. I'm going to shoot a little bit for it, see if I like it, and if I like it, we're going to come back and go live.